Hey guys, I'm back this week with another review video. This one is actually at the request of one of our followers. And so I went to, I traveled all the way across town to Dollar General and I picked up some of their exclusive makeup products. So in case you guys don't know, Dollar General is not like Dollar Tree, things cost more than a dollar, but they are a Walmart adjacent chain store, but they exclusively build in small towns. I had to drive all the way over to like the old part of town. All It was like 25 minute drive for me just to get to one um, because they're not in big cities. Their entire market is small towns. So if you live anywhere near a Dollar General, these are going to be available to you. This is the Believe, um, the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. And then, because I was asked just to review the foundation, but foundations, especially cheap ones, are usually so much better with a primer. And I'm all out of my favorite kind of primer. So I picked up one of their Believe Beauty. This is a color correcting primer because my skin is very, very red. And so I thought that this would give it the best chance of being the best product it can be. So let's talk a little bit about, you already know where it's from. So let's talk about prices. This was $5. That is super duper cheap if I don't include the gas that it took me to drive across town to go get it. Now, if I was at home or if I was in Ashland or if I was literally anywhere else, I wouldn't have had to have driven this far. So this is great for people that live out in the middle of nowhere, people that live in the country, people that live in small to medium sized towns. Not so great for somebody like me where I can just pop over to Target or pop over to Ulta and it's easy as pie. Um, but yeah, $5 for this. This is incredible. I'm really, really, I really like the price. And then even though I, I bought the primer with it because I think that it's going to make a big difference. Um, and this was only $5 also. And these are big tubes. Like this is almost a whole ounce of foundation. And this is a whole ounce of primer. So between these two with tax, it was $10.80. Um, that's not bad at all. And there's like high sales tax in my town. So I'm going to give this hundred percent on price. Even if you didn't buy the primer and you just bought the foundation, I think that is a fantastic price. So 10 out of 10, a hundred percent on that. I have no complaints on price really. Like it's awesome. My normal thing is under, uh, $20 is like a really good price for a whole season. This is under five, this is $5. Like you're not going to find foundation for any less than four or five dollars. And so I think this is great. Um, let's talk about durability. This is a glass bottle, which stresses me out because I've seen these shattered before. Um, I haven't dropped it yet, but I don't want to. Um, but yeah, the, the glass stresses me out. I prefer to buy something in plastic like this foundation or even round bottles. This one's glass. These tend to be a little better at holding up to being banged around just because something physics, something force and pressure, whereas these have corners that can chip really easily and um, harm the overall structure of the bottle. So not a huge fan of the glass and the square. The next thing I'm not a huge fan of is the pump. Um, I don't really know why some foundations do a pump versus like a dropper versus just being a squeeze bottle. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the pump because if they break, then you have to like open it up and scrape out the foundation. And sometimes the pump doesn't reach all the way down to the bottom. I have not went through enough to know how deep the pump goes. So I'm not entirely sure about that. Those are just some things I personally don't like. If you don't care about those, then this is perfect for you. Um, but let's also talk about not only the durability of the packaging, but the durability of it on your face. So I have already worn this and then I put it on today to remember what I was doing. And I did this half of my face without primer and this half of my face with primer. And I can definitely see a difference just in like opacity and um, just how it feels. It feels heavier on the primer side because the primer does feel really, really heavy. Um, it feels lighter on the not primered side of my face, but also it, I feel like it covers more rather than blending. I have a lot of freckles. And so I try to find things that blend nice with my freckles. 
rather than just covering everything up because then I look really weird. Um, so, eh, it's okay. I definitely think it looks better with the primer on. Um, there's just like another point to the primer. I'm not going to be rating the primer um, on its own. I'm just going to give it points so far with the foundation. It, it gets a whole point here. Um, it does if you don't give it time to set. And I didn't use setting spray with this um, just because I don't think the brand had a setting spray and I'm all out at home. Um, but if I wiped some of it before it dried, it would just come off and smear. If I waited until after it dried really nicely, it would come off less. But if I just like touch my face, some will come off of my fingers. And that is me being completely dry. Now I've went out and I've written choreography in it and it, it starts to melt a little bit. I'm not going to say it's going to be pouring down your face, but it does start to melt a little bit. So durability, I'm going to give it a 90%. Overall, the bottle is really only a deal breaker for me. Some people don't care that much. Um... And it works so much better with the primer on your face. Like, it holds up better. So if you're going to use this for winter season, I recommend the primer. They had other color correcting primers. This was the green one. They had, like, orange ones, I think. Maybe a purple one. And then they had one that was just, like, a radiating glow um, that was bright and supposed to make you shiny and stuff. Uh, I typically just go with green primer. That's me. So durability is a 90. Form factor. This is where my biggest complaints come in is maybe I should have put the bottle under form factor. I don't like the bottle very much, um, but it only comes in like 10 shades or something. This one is not really my shade, but they didn't have anything lighter and they also didn't have anything with like yellow undertones. There's not really a difference between yellow undertones versus white undertones versus pink undertones. I Not that I could see. Um, my view was also obscured by a cart that had products on it that they were trying to unpack. So I was like trying to pick in the dark there. Um, they did have, I was really surprised, they did have several, I would say they had equal amounts of white people shades as people of color shades. Um, so that's really cool, but also they didn't have a huge selection overall. So form factor, that's probably the thing that I like the least about it is I, I could get to my correct skin tone, but it would take a little bit of mixing with products that I already have on hand. Um, and also it's, it's so much better with the primer. So I'm going to rate it a little bit lower because you need, you definitely need this. So this is like two points for primer. You definitely need this. Um, form factor, I'm giving it an 85. It could have been better. They could have had more skin tones. They could have differentiated more in yellow undertones versus pink undertones versus neutral, whatever. Um, but 85 on that. And then my personal rating, I was really surprised. I'm not normally a dollar store makeup kind of person. I like my NYX, which isn't high dollar, but it's not bottom of the line either. Um, but I was really, really pleasantly surprised. I quite enjoy this. Um, and I do, I know this is not about the primer, but I do like the primer. It definitely made a big difference on how red I was. Um, I'm not sunburnt right now. I don't know how it would do with sunburns, but just my normal, because I'm allergic to everything and my skin is constantly red and irritated. So my rating, I'm gonna give this an 87% because it is not my favorite. But I was very, very surprised. It, I like it. I can't say that I'd want to wear it for performing a whole show. Um, just because I personally have products I like better. But if you like this, you go for it. Because I'm really impressed with it. So overall, um, my rating is an 87. Total all those scores up. That is a 90.5%. That is an A-. minus. I think that is great. So... Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation from Dollar General. It was $5 plus the um, Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Color Correcting Primer, also another $5. Only available at Dollar General. So if you have one of those near you and you're looking for a decent makeup brand that is cheap, well within your budget, this is the place to go. Um, I hope you guys liked this. If you want to see anything else from Believe or anybody, I can probably find it. So let me know and I'll do it. Um, drop a comment if you use Believe or there's another product from it that you want me to rate because I'm impressed. Um, like this video if you thought this was cool. Shout out 
to my friends for suggesting things. You all are wonderful. You all are my friends, enthusiast. And don't forget to subscribe. I have new review videos every Monday. See you later, guys.